Hello, South Central Nebraska dealers. Wanted to come to you with this agronomy update from the field this week. Um, wanted to talk about fungicide. We're getting close to fungicide time in Nebraska. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what we've seen over the past few years in Nebraska and what we've seen with our PFR data and what we should do about it this year. So uh, going over, uh, let's just talk about last year for uh, to start with. Uh, last year we had record high amounts of disease. We had record high disease levels, mainly southern rust. We saw more southern rust last year than we have in the last 20 years. Um, and it, uh, it, it created you know, a lot of problems in a lot of fields. The fields that did not get fungicided, we found almost a 50 bushel decrease versus the fields that got fungicided. That's coming from a lot of independent agronomists that I work with throughout the area. And that was, I heard that from several different people in several different locations, especially in the eastern two-thirds of the state. Now, the, uh, the funny part about that was last year, right around this time, right around V12, right around tassel time, we saw almost no disease pressure. Right up until now, we had a lot of similar conditions we have this year. We've had a very adequate to above average rainfall, very high temperatures perfect disease growing conditions but we weren't seeing the disease what are good disease growing conditions you need to have the disease triad which is uh, you need to have uh, seed stock or inoculum stuff that uh, uh, the stuff that's going to grow the disease from previous years so like a, a disease like uh, gray leaf spot will come from last year's residue a disease like southern rust has to be blown in from the south. It does not overwinter here. So one, we have to have the inoculum from the previous season. We have to have that present. You have to have a susceptible host. Of course, corn is a susceptible host. You also have the right growing conditions. Heat and humidity, perfect growing conditions for disease, especially humidity, which we have a lot of humidity. If you could see me sweating through my shirt and my hat right now, a lot of humidity in south central Nebraska this year, right now. Um, but just like last year, walking through these fields, seeing almost seeing no disease presence. I got a little bit of uh, necrosis there, but still have not seen any disease or heard of any disease reported yet. We have a slight amount of tar spot in eastern Nebraska, but very slight so far. So it's setting up to be a very similar year as last year as far as disease presence. Almost no disease presence right now. We have really good disease growing conditions. Do we have the inoculum around? Um, like I said, gray leaf spot. That's what we'd be expecting to see so far. That's the inoculum that's available right now. Southern rust has not blown up yet. It'd be coming from the south somewhere if we have a storm system. So we do not have the inoculum presence right now. Will disease show up? Possibly. I sure think it will be since we have such good growing conditions for it, but as right now, we have almost no disease presence. Okay, so that's what happened last year and what happened this year? So what does that mean? How do we want to use that information? Well, uh, so disease, what have we learned with our PFR data? So far, uh, for the past three years with our PFR data, show it on the screen, only our irrigated site has shown a positive ROI. And even then it was only about six to $10 an acre positive ROI when a fungicide was applied. And that does not include the application cost. So when you add in a nine to $10 application cost, for our last three years, our fungicide has not been that profitable on our irrigated acres. Granted, this is a, our PFR site. Our average production on this site is 240 bushels an acre. It's not like our really high yielding sites around the area that are producing 280 and 290. Last year, this site, this, uh, this PFR site, got $9 an acre, positive ROI, whereas the neighboring sites, when had fungicide put on it, had way more than that. So we have to take the site with a grain of salt, but still, uh, you want to make sure you have that presence. On the non-irrigated corn here, it has never paid. It has never had a positive ROI in all three years that they've done the study there. So what's that mean? How do we know when to apply or what to apply if we should apply? I always recommend scouting. Always recommend scouting your fields when you're looking at fungicide. If you're planning, if you're gonna apply a fungicide no matter what, scouting your field to get the right timing is very important. You wanna walk through the field as much as you're willing to, 
Check the bottom leaves first. Start looking for lesions. Check as many as you can. If you're gonna apply a fungicide no matter what, it won't hurt to wait. It won't hurt to wait later in the season. If you have no disease presence now, no disease presence at uh, tassel timing, then if you wait a couple weeks later, you can help prevent some of those diseases that come in later in the season. Two main ones that we have to look out for in Nebraska. One of them is new, one of them is tar spot. It has been found to come in very late in the season and a late fungicide does way better than an early fungicide. And then southern rust. Last year proved that our later, fungi later applied fungicides do a lot better when that uh, southern rust comes in later in the season. Um, and then for uh, disease pressure. I mean, okay, I don't know if I'm gonna put on a fungicide at all, period. Well, then you start looking to see if you're gonna to get to threshold level. A lot of diseases, depending on the type of disease, has different threshold levels. Most of them consist of certain amount of lesions or certain amount of leaf space being covered by lesions up to the ear leaf. So, uh, for a gray leaf spot, I believe if it's, has, if it's covering 30% of the leaf, one leaf below the ear leaf, then you should be applying it. Then it's gonna have a, a negative yield impact or you'll get, at least get a positive ROI from your fungicide application. So uh, bottom line is bottom point or uh, main points for this to, to take back to your farm and to your customers. Fungicides do not always pay, but if you're going to be applying them anyway, go out and scout so you can get the timing right. An R1 application, just because it's PFR proven, that, that's, was, uh, that's mainly our eastern locations that they found that. We have we found last year for sure, we proved last year, that R1 is not the, it's not a blanket application time. You wanna go out and scout, get your timing just right. Um, if you don't know if you're gonna apply or not, then go out and look for it, Look, scout for your disease. If you don't have heavy disease presence, if you don't have threshold levels, then I do not recommend applying. Um, and that's it. We have, and what do I think we're gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of disease this year? Yes. From what I can tell from the amounts of rainfall we've had and the high disease pressure we had last year means we have a lot of inoculum in the, so in the soil, a lot of inoculum in last year's residue, gray leaf spot mainly. Uh, I think we're going to, and the amount of humidity that we're seeing, I think we're going to have a very d heavy disease year. But we are not seeing any disease right now. It felt exactly the same way last year. And last year ended up being one of the heaviest disease years we've ever had. So get out there, scout your fields. If you have any questions about scouting or what you're looking at or what to look for, please don't hesitate, hesitate to give me a call. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.